Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you're having a good day. We have a really fun tutorial and this is based on a technique that Alessandro Boncio came up with. And it's these really nice organic tendrils that are growing and dancing. And these are actually pulsing to a soundtrack, which is really fun. So there's a lot of great techniques that we're gonna cover. So we'll jump into Cinema 4D and get started. So first off, I'm gonna be using Shift C to bring up this command dialog. And I'm gonna enter all of the objects that I'm gonna use in this tutorial by doing Shift C, just so that you can follow along. It's a really quick way to add objects. So we're gonna start out with a sound effector, and this is a MoGraph sound. And under effector, we're going to load in a MP3 sound, and this is what all these organic tendrils are gonna be bouncing to. So if we hit play, we have a very short audio loop here. And this box right here is the part of the soundtrack that's gonna be sampled to drive our particles. So we can take a little box here and select this. And now we're gonna add our particles and we're gonna do that with an emitter. So we'll type in emitter. And I'm gonna rotate this 90 degrees so that we're facing upward. And we'll have these particles shooting up if we hit play. All right, so we're gonna make a lot of changes to this emitter. The first thing is we're gonna make the size quite a bit smaller, so we'll do 10 by 10. And if we zoom in here, let's add quite a few more particles, so 50 by 50. And then the other thing we're gonna do is turn off the animation speed. So we'll go to speed and we'll hit zero on that because we don't actually want them going up. We're gonna have the sound drive the animation. So if we hit play, you can see that these are slowly spawning on here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is have all these particles cloned onto a matrix object, which we can affect with the MoGraph effectors. So we're gonna do Shift C and add a matrix. And the matrix is gonna be quite a bit too big. So we'll change the scale to say 0.02. So we have these tiny little cubes here. And instead of a grid, we're gonna change the mode to a object. And in that object, we're gonna drag that emitter. So the emitter is going to be driving these matrix cubes here, and they're gonna be spawning on. All right, so we got a pretty good setup started right here. Let's make sure everything looks good. All right, so we're gonna have the sound affect this matrix. So if we go to the matrix and go to the effectors, we can drag that sound effector. And now if you hit play, if we zoom out here, that sound is driving these particles and it's bouncing based on that sound. All right, so if we go back to that sound, let's change the Y down a little bit, maybe to 30, so it's not bouncing quite as high. And now we wanna get some variation on here. So one way we can do that is go to the sound, go to fields, and we can add a random field. And that's gonna give us a little bit of randomization. Another thing we can go is go to our sound and under the, um, the effector, you can see that we have this little box sampling the audio track. We can add another one if we wanna sample a little piece over here. You can hit control and then drag, make another box and we can uh, sample this little slice right here. We could also sample one down here. And every little piece that we sample is gonna give it a little bit more variation. So now we have more variation in here. All right, so this is a good base, but we want these to have more of an organic, kind of a twisting and bouncing motion. And we're gonna do that with a field force. So let's go to Shift C and type in a field force. We'll hit enter here. And in the field force, we're gonna change a few things. Under object, we'll change the velocity type to change direction. And we're going to add a field in here. We're gonna add a random field. And in that random field, Actually, before we do anything else, let's go to the coordinates and make this quite a bit smaller here. 0.5, just so that it fits our scene a little bit better. Uh, maybe 0.2 would be better, something like that. All right, so let's make a few changes in here under object. Under that random, let's change the noise type maybe to Hama. And let's kick up the scale a little bit overall. And under the relative scale, let's change the X to 20 and the Z to 20, just so that they're kind of smearing a little bit. And we'll probably leave everything else the same. Um, one last thing we can do is go to the fields tab and we can also drag that random field into here. All right, so we have our force field and this is gonna generate a lot of sort of random twisting and organic rotation. The problem is, you can't have a field force affect a matrix. There's nowhere to drag it into. If we go to our matrix under effectors, you can't drag a field force into here. So here's a little hack that we found. Under matrix, you can add a jiggle deformer, and in a jiggle deformer, you can use a field force, which is a really cool hack. So let's add a jiggle, and we'll drag that into our matrix. And under jiggle, if you go to force tab, you can drag this field force into here. And if we turn it off so that we don't see it in the viewport and hit play, 
you'll see that we have a lot more of an organic twisting motion now. Now these cubes are a little bit small, so I'm gonna go into the sound and we'll go to our parameters and we'll check on scale, uniform scale, maybe kick the scale up to two, just so they're a little bit bigger. And now you can see that we have sort of this organic twisting motion based on that field force. So we're starting to get a really nice organic look here. Another thing we could do is hit Shift C and add a random effector and we could drag that into our matrix and that'll give us even more randomization, but we can dial this down a little bit. And there we go. Now we have a lot of random animation on here and it's twisting and it's looking really good. All right, so if this is our base animation, the next thing we have to do is add a tracer to kind of trace where all these cubes are going. All right, so we'll hit Shift C and add a tracer. And under that trace link, we're gonna drag the matrix. And then this tracer is going to trace all of those little matrix cubes, and it's gonna make lines following the uh, path and the position of the rotation. All right, so let's make a few tweaks to these lines because these lines are going on indefinitely and we want the tail end to also wipe off so that it doesn't just go on indefinitely. And the way we can do that is go to the limit and we can limit it from end. And if we do that, we're not gonna get anything. That's because we have to kick up the amount. If we kick this to two, you'll see what's going on. If we kick that up to three, the line will get longer. So we can kick that up to maybe like seven or eight and then we'll get this nice long line, but at some point it will start fading off. So right now it looks very chunky. We need to make it a lot smoother. We can change the type from linear to a B spline and then change the intermediate points to uniform and kick that number up to say 20. And now we're getting some really nice organic lines. All right, from here we just have to add geometry to this because if you hit render right now, nothing's gonna render, it's just black. So there's two ways that we can do this. One way is you could just add a, um, a sweep nerve. So we could type in sweep, and then we could also type in a circle, make the circle radius say 0.5 and drag into the sweep and also drag the tracer into the sweep. And let's make that 0.1 radius maybe. And now we have this sweep nerve going across these lines. So that's one way that you could do it. If you hit render, now we actually have geometry. And the nice thing is in the sweep, you can also change the end scale. You could change the scale down to zero or so, and you're gonna get these tapering off lines. So this is a nice way to get some organic tendrils. But there is another way, which is even cooler. So we'll drag the tracer out, and we're gonna do this with a volume builder. So we'll go to volume builder, and we're gonna drag the tracer into here. And there's gonna be a lot of settings that would change right away. It's obviously quite a bit too big. So if we go to our volume builder, we could change the voxel size to say 0.2 maybe. And we'll get a lot more definition here. Then we have to go to our tracer and we'll change the radius to say, I don't know, 0.3. And if we hit play, you can see that we have these voxels. But what we need to do is add those trails back in and we can do that with the, um, the density. So the density, if we slowly crank this on, you can see that it's adding all the trail back in here. So we can crank this up really high, like 50. And now we're getting those nice trails here. And from here, we just have to dial it in a little bit. We could change the radius a little bit, make it smaller. The voxel size, we can go lower with that. And once we're mostly happy, we can add a volume measure. So we'll add a volume measure and we'll drag the volume builder inside of that measure. And we can play around with some of these settings, of course. But basically, this is the gist of it. And now we have these really nice organic lines and they're actually bouncing to the soundtrack. So it's hard to see in the tutorial, but if you change that soundtrack, they would actually be bouncing uh, to a different beat, which is really cool. And then from here, you can just play with the different lines, the length of them. And in the final one that Alessandro made, he actually changed the scale of these so that they have a little bit of a knob at the end. And you can do that by going to your volume builder and under the scale, you can add different knots to this scale graph. And you can see that as I pull these down, it's actually changing the geometry, making it skinnier at the end or adding kind of a bulb at the end here with this one. So you can play around with this scale graph and it's gonna change your lines quite dramatically. But when you're done, you'll have this really nice organic line animation dancing to this music. And also there's a lot of great techniques in here with the field forces and using emitters and tracers and using the volume builder. So I hope you guys learned something new through this whole process. Maybe you don't make this exact same thing, but some of these techniques will apply to other projects as well. I hope you guys found that useful and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.